I welcome to this sphere date, which is about uh, a book, and it's a book that I think can help any forex trader. Now, the book itself was not written for forex traders; it was written for poker players. And the book was called "Poker, Sex, and Dying." It's by a guy called Jewel Anderson. Now, the title of the book comes from what he did for a living. He was a funeral operative. He worked at a dating agency and he was a professional poker player. Now, in all those three occupations, emotions are at their extreme. And the book is all about uh, knowing your personality and controlling your emotions. Now, the book itself, uh, there's a lot on you know, how to play poker successfully, but he does isolate personality it's very important for poker players knowing your opponent, reading your opponent. Now, we can't actually read our opponents in Forex trading because we don't see them. Where the personality profiles are so good uh, is basically, if you read them, you're going to see yourself in one of the profiles and it will tell you your strengths and weaknesses. Now, in terms of there is no such thing as the perfect poker player or the, the perfect forex trader. Yeah, we've all got strengths and weaknesses. And um, the book will just help you find them. I, I find it you know, a really good book for that. And I read it many, many years ago. Um, it was actually re-released, um, or the, someone bought the rights to it, who was actually a trader. His name was David Kaplan. He renamed it Poker, Sex and Trading. There, there was no need to do that, in my view. The lessons that apply to poker apply to forex trading and if you look at how many successful traders came from a poker playing background that should be pretty obvious okay we need to trade with an edge we need to trade probabilities and odds we need good money management and then over the longer term we'll make money provided of course we can control ourselves and that's what i now want to talk about i want to go through uh my personality profile my weaknesses and how I basically mitigated them. And I think any trader should actually sit down and be brutally honest with themselves about what are my weaknesses, okay? Because you've got to take care of them, you've got to mitigate them, or you will not become um, yeah, a really successful Forex trader. And, and every trader has some sort of weakness or weak spot, okay? So what I want to do is uh, go through mine, okay, just as an illustration. I'll sort of go through, um, uh, sorry, how to mitigate the problems that I've got or how I do it. And I also want, to, after I've done that, I want to give you uh, some fantastic quotes from the book. I mean, if you're an experienced trader already, uh, you'll definitely associate with them. If you're a beginner, you need to learn the wisdom of the quotes to win at Forex Trading. All you have to do is take the word poker out, put trading in. The uh, advice applies in both areas. Right, let's go and uh, look at uh, personality profiles, weaknesses, and how to mitigate them. Right, let's have a look at uh, my personality and also uh, some weaknesses that I've got and yeah, how I mitigate them. Now, in terms of uh, the book, you might find you overlap a couple of personality profiles. I'm sure yeah, when you read it, you'll obviously find the one that most suits you and hopefully learn something or have something reinforced about yourself, which uh, will help you in training. Now, in terms of me, I would be a counterphobic reflective personality, uh, introverted by nature, so I'm pretty reflective, but I go for uncomfortable situations, counterphobic, in order to overcome my fears. So I think certainly when I was younger, uh, that would be a very apt description of me. I think I've conquered every fear that I need to at my age by now. But uh, deep down, I am that sort of personality. Still, I think I'm pretty reflective. Uh, I've got no problem in, in going for uncomfortable situations at all. Uh, in fact, I quite enjoy it. Um, the, yeah, it's a challenge for me. Now, in terms of my, my personality, uh, I tend to think of worst eventualities before best, okay? That isn't that I'm <laughs> overtly gloomy or pessimistic, but I always tend to think, and this, this isn't in Forex, it's just in life, you know, yeah, what could go wrong before what could go right? 
do you know what I mean? It's like I'm always kind of, you know, what could go wrong with this, especially if things are going too well. Well, in trading, that's an advantage, right? Because uh, it's very easy. Um, in Forex, to have your worst eventuality defined, which is with a stop. And basically, uh, things can only get better. I've never really had a problem with money management, um, taking losses, you know, just doesn't really bother me too much. It's the easy part for it, straight for me. The harder part is, um, obviously, this tend to think of worst eventualities first. I was supposed to be pretty profit averse, I think. So when a profit gets big, uh, yeah, well, I am one of these people who want to snatch it, okay? And I know that obviously we've all got to run our profits, okay? <laughs> it's just common wisdom. But I find it very hard. Okay, so um, let's say a lot of the time people see me in the videos go for 300, 500, 700 pip trade setups, maybe even a thousand if I could get it. Okay, there is no way I could hold a big trend unless I bank money out. Um, it's the only way I can do it. And uh, I've deliberately put this in so I can hold big trends. So basically what I'll try and do is I'll try and catch the turning point of a trend. Normally come my way pretty quickly if I'm right. I could take money off the table, then see the trend progress. And I've also got the option to add in or take out as the trend moves. So that partial banking is the only way I can hold big trends. And I know people who just do that without too much trouble. They just put a trade on trail the stop loss up and that's it you know i can't do that i just have to be active um what's my next floor i think i'm impulsive when i have a strong opinion and i tend to have strong opinions when i'm looking at uh turning points in the market this is not so much i'm doing technical trading but when i'm doing sentiment analysis so you're bullish or bearish extreme i've decided it's going to go the other way yeah Basically, I want to go in. Um, it's an uncomfortable situation as well for me because I'm going against the majority. Okay, I like it. Okay, I want to be in. So I could be a little bit too impulsive in terms of wanting to get in. My opinion is going to carry me in. So for me, what I have to do, I used to be way, way too early years ago. I mean, a lot of people today might still say I'm a little bit too early, but I do actually um, have criteria of entry uh, to control my urge to just you know pick the exact top or bottom or, or try and get in too quickly so i have to overcome that so just basically it's a rule framework um the trade when i put it on has to meet a certain criteria on a technical basis now in terms of the book um it is really a book obviously about um, reading other players and their personalities and so forth from our perspective it's just really to get some insight into our own personality because obviously we don't see the other traders but it is a book about yeah basically what makes a good poker player um and yeah basically how to become good at it uh yeah plenty plenty of advice and all the advice on poker is suitable for traders i think there's there's one thing that i i really like about the book and it's um what he says here i put this problem most traders have gambling you rely on you okay that's it okay you rely totally on yourself it is the same in trading but i put can you trust yourself okay that in gambling you are forced to act i think that's it's important to stress or i think it's important in terms of poker, it comes around to you. In the turn of play, you're forced to act. Yeah, you put on the spot. Okay. Um, in trading, you're not. Okay. There is no one. Yeah, it's not coming. The spotlight isn't on you. You're just there looking or uh, looking at the price charts. Okay. You're not forced to act. And I think the real key uh, to winning at Forex trading is to act. Okay, in terms of execution, all right, in terms of you must cut losses, manage profits, always manage open trades, okay? Yeah, you must be very proactive is what I'm saying. Uh, I think, yeah, 
gamblers, they, they're forced to act. I hope that point comes over clearly. But uh, yeah, you've got to be decisive, right? Now, sorry, I'm losing my voice. What I'm going to do uh, is play out with uh, my favourite quotes from the book. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you're a trader already, you'll associate all, with all of these quotes. If you're new to trading, uh, you will learn them at some point. Some of them uh, are, are good education. Uh, some of the points will give you bad education or, or bad experience if you don't pay heed to the advice. So here are the quotes. I've put them over a rather apt song, uh, The Gambler, which actually has got some wise advice in it as well. Right, enough of me talking. Here come the quotes. Hope you enjoy them. Uh, take care. Have a good day. Summer's Eve on a train bound for nowhere. I met up with a gambler. We were both too tired to sleep. So we took turns to stare at the window at the darkness till boredom overtook us. Then he began to speak. He said, Son, I've made a lie out of reading people's faces, knowing what their cards were by the way they held the rise. So if I can see your out of faces for a taste of your whiskey. I'll give you some advice. So I handed him my bottle, and he drank down my last swallow. Then he bummed a cigarette and asked me for a light. And the night got deathly quiet, and his face lost all expression. Said, if you're gonna play the game, boy, you gotta learn to play it right. You gotta know when to hold, know when to fall, know when to walk away, and know when to run. You never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. Every gambler knows that the secret to Fantastic.